here it is guys 2020 oh this is a beauty uh dodge durango citadel okay citadel now cooling leak overheating oh did this come from this no this didn't come from this car because this is bagged in i think they towed it in i don't know let me see i just want to get out here well nothing from the traditional radiator area but that's not a good sign that's not a bad sign oh gosh this is durango uh, durango now y'all know the history on that durango and that cooling pipe underneath that uh crushes or ruptures into a hose clamp yeah it's one of those where in my opinion uh engineers may have dropped the ball but i'm a mechanic my job is to figure out why this thing overheating and losing coolant so what i'm gonna do is uh taking in the shop and do my freaking job that's what i'm gonna do okay let's get it in the shop man you know what i don't want to get on a uh, lift that would take all four wheels off that takes too long ah look at here guys the alignment rack is open okay we're gonna hop on the alignment rack how about that y'all ready y'all want to go along with me we got to find out why this thing overheat now it overheats because there's no cooling in it so our goal is to find out why is there not any cooling in it okay in other words where is the leak coming from? You can only lose cooling a couple of ways. Either leaking it or burning it. Now, I don't want to believe uh, they burning it. <laughs> yeah, that's bad if you burn it. I would probably see some white smoke if it was burning it, but I don't. As we speak right now, and I just started it cold, so uh, obviously we're losing it, right? I'm on the alignment rack, guys. All right, let's get it, man. So what we're going to do is uh, look around. She said it leaks as fast as she pour it in, it comes out. You know what that means? It should be fairly obvious, right? Yeah, but because I didn't see nothing on the ground, and I don't see nothing like spilled over in here, it may not be that obvious. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, it's got this funky thread can. We're going to pressurize this system, guys. Uh, that's the best way to find a leak. Now, there's a no more ways you can pressurize a coolant system. Me, I have the pump type pressurization too. <laughs> Some people have the air type, okay? So let me grab my old school pump type and we're gonna pressurize this system and then we're gonna look around for leaks. Now, because a lot of car makers don't use the traditional radiator cap anymore, uh, I will need a special adapter for my old school pump style. And what do you know? Uh, yeah, had to buy some tools. Had to buy more tools. It's like they change stuff just so you have to. I think <laughs> the repair industry get together with the tool industry and they come up with ways to find more things we need to properly diagnose the car. What y'all think? Okay, let me screw that on here. Then we're going to connect my pump tool and then we're going to pump the system up to a decent amount. Then we're going to look around. All right, guys, I got that at about eight, 18 PSI. I don't want to be in the red at 20. So we're going to let this thing up and look around and see is there anything leaking. All right, let's get it up in the air. Let's look around. Let's get it. Now, y'all know with this being a Durango, oh, there's one traditional place they always leak coolant. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me that's not where it's coming from. But she say there's a leak. We're about to find out. All right, let's get it. Alrighty, uh, let's go to the normal Durango. Well, we're gonna start at the front. Radiator, nothing. And that coolant was like greenish. So, greenish coolant, okay. I don't see nothing greenish. Let's go under here. The typical Durango, uh-oh. Yes, it's not that heater line. Whoo, thank goodness that, that line is a pain in the butt. If it was a heater line, I have cooling all over here, so thank goodness. But where's the cooling leak? No sense of going to the whoa. 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 Wait a minute. Alright guys. We own the some, but it's in the rear. Why the hell am I getting coolant? Now, based off these lines, coolant return and coolant receive and the AC 
there's rear HVAC back here. Why would I be getting coolant on top of is that the muffler? Is the muffler leaking coolant? <laughs> no, the muffler not leaking coolant, guys. But we have some investigating to do. Okay, so this is the source. This is what they was talking about. Now let me look in the HVAC area where the heater coil lives. The heater coil lives right here. I don't see no coolant drips from there. This spot is the only All right, guys, something is going on. There's no coolant in here, so the muffler can't be leaking. So there must be something leaking on top. Let me, uh, that hold tight. Ooh, I just saw a drip. Y'all see that? Hold tight. All right, so I got to close. I got it down a little closer. I need to see. Can y'all see? I might have to lower this stuff because something, it's got to be. Uh-oh. This line, but damn, the only way I'm gonna get a view of it, a good view, is to drop the whole muffler. I don't wanna do all that. I will exceed my one hour diag time. But something above that is leaking, and the only thing above that cooling related, I can't see y'all, so I'm gonna take y'all diving, dumpster diving. What y'all see? Alright, something above this muffler, but. In order to get an accurate view of what it is, I have to drop this muffler. How much trouble is it to take this off and lower this muffler? I gotta find out where this cooling leak coming from. Ah, see, it's under pressure. It's gonna really start. Come on, man. Where the, where the hell is it coming from? I know, I guess. The line was on top of the damn thing. I gotta see. Uh oh, we're making a mess. Somebody bent it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a hose in. Come on, man. You gotta get the whole hose for that. You can't. Well, you can fix it, but. Damn.